whole world. How's everybody doing? It's me again. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Dude. Checking in with the morning report. Fire away. How you beautiful people doing? Another beautiful day. It's Friday. And time waits for no man and time keeps moving. And time is honest. And time tells everything about a person, man. Time. Yeah. All right. So we know we know Halo has a big fan base, right? Okay, it's got a big fan base. Whether it's on the Xbox One, PC, or Xbox Series X, Halo is big. And you know when if something happens to Halo, you know you you know three four three is gonna gonna hear from the fans, right? All right. <laughs> so anyway, um, if you play Halo uh, Halo Master Chief Collection, the way you customize the game, like with your weapons. Customizations, customizations. It's a prelude of things to come in Halo Infinite. Okay, so the way you might customize things in uh, Halo in uh, Halo uh, Master Chief Collection is a prelude of things to come in Halo Infinite. So get used to it if you if you got the Master Chief Collection. <laughs> anyway, seen this article and another thing too. I got another a Halo article to talk about too. Anyway, it says here, Halo Master Chief Collection customization may hint at Halo Infinite System. It says here, Master Chief Collection has drastically changed how co cosmetics work in the franchise, and that could indicate where Halo Infinite is headed. For a game first reveal at E3 2018, fans know surprisingly little about Halo Infinite. The next foray in into the sci-fi franchise seems to be something of a soft reboot, overhauling overhauling many of the mechanics that fans are familiar with, judging by early Halo Infinite gameplay demos. If there is one element fans know about, fans know almost nothing about, though it's how Halo Infinite customization element will work. So it says here, however, with the changes that had, with the changes that have been made to Halo Master Chief Collection, fans may be getting a picture of how Halo Infinite will reward players with new customization options. Of course, Halo Master Chief custom, Halo Master Chief Collection customization has has generated has garnered a mixed reception, so it may not earn a great reception if 343 Industries does decide to go that route. Of course, as with all things, there are some pros and cons here. It um, says here, essentially, when players level up in Halo Master Chief Collection, they may earn tokens that can be spent on a tier of lists of rewards with new season adding more customization options to the mix after unlocking all of the items in a tier players can move up the next tier with which <laughs> sorry offer more weapon skill weapon skins vehicle skins and armor options among other thing uh, other things players are able to move freely between the list of seasonal items and most of the list contains a, a smattering of items items for for each of the games contained in the master chief collection it certainly isn't perfect perfect system but it does offer players a lot more freedoms in how they reward how they're rewarded sorry about that than other games do and the freedom goes a long way players are able to get goals for themselves through customization options, which drives them to keep going. Okay, so basically, Halo Master Chief Collection is a pre is a prelude or a preview of things to come in Halo Infinite. So, the same way you might have customized customized your customize your your suits and weapons and all that, maybe the same way you customized um. 
uh, customize the game in Halo Infinite. Even though Halo Infinite is like, what, let's see, what's this? March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Halo uh, Infinite is like eight months away. So um, Master Chief Co Master Chief Collection is giving you a taste of what's to come. So um, could it it could it could work in your favor? It could work in the player's favor, or it might not. But it it, it depends. Um, like if you're used to like certain doing say say for instance dual dual wielding let's say let's say let's say they remove our uh, dual wielding how will you players how will you players take it if you're already used to it in other halo in the in the master chief collection so the changes that um that are um that are in the master chief collection you know may may not be the change some changes that are in the master chief collection you know, may may be in Halo Infinite, and they might and and some of the things you might do that you can do in Halo Master Chief that you can do in Master Chief Collection, you might not be able to do it in Halo Infinite. So, which brings me to this next article. Hmm. Listen to this, y'all. Listen to this. It's talk about. Remember, I just brought up dual wielding. Listen to this. Hmm. You Halo fans ain't gonna love this. Gonna, gonna love this, or or hate it. It says here, Halo Infinite probably won't have dual wielding. Probably. So that's a question mark. But anyway, it says here, 343 Industries confirmed that dual that dual wielding is not is not is not currently a feature that is being planned for the upcoming Halo Infinite game. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> here come here comes the fans with their complaints. <laughs> anyway, it says. Halo Infinite was originally going to be a launch title for the Xbox Series X, but after mixed reaction to its gameplay reveal, Microsoft made the tough decision to push the game release date back. The Halo Infinite drew the Halo Infinite delay was a blow to the Xbox Series X. Uh, actually, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Uh, early lineup but this extra time in the in the oven could be a big difference bit difference maker when it comes to how fans receive the game when it's final when it finally out since the delay 343 industry has been more open about what fans can expect from the game revealing some fresh details in a recent Q&A session question and answer I mean Q&A is question and answer one of the questions 343 was asked during the Q&A was in the regards of dual wielding dual wielding was introduced in Halo 2 as one of the game as one as one of that game's major gameplay mechanics and it popped up again in Halo 3 while dual wielding was a popular feature in Halo 2 and Halo 3, it seems though the feature may not be returning to returning for. Sorry about that. Halo Infinite. And um, it says yeah, according to 343, Halo Infinite currently does not have dual wielding. The developer explained that when making a a, making a game the size of Halo Infinite, choices have to be made about what will and what won't be included in the game. Instead of implementing a dual wielding feature like previous Halo games, 343 decides, decides to instead focus on perfecting the weapons, uh, gunplay, grenades, melee, along with equipment so all you halo fans um that's looking for halo uh, that's waiting for halo infinite some of you probably got the xbox series x already and some of you don't you know and some of and, um you're probably thinking you know what, i'm gonna make that for another video but anyway um you know dual wielding might not be might not be might not be in Halo Infinite. 
keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> it might not be so. But like I, like they said, they're fo they're focusing on the weapons, the gunplay, grenades, melees with equipment. So like like I told you, Halo Master Chief Collection was a preview, you know, of things to come, you know. But dual wielding, you know, people might was what was probably one of the main features in Halo 2 and Halo Halo 3 people liked it but now with Halo Infinite it seems like it might not be there so um we'll see we'll, we'll see what happened when the game comes out but that's the news for now with Halo and nice talking to you people again Chris still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing or Dark Side uh, gone peace